In this video, we'll have a look at some of the basic system settings on a Junipest RX firewall, which is based on the Junos operator system. So, the first thing we'll do is configure the domain name for this device, and then Junos then uses this domain name as the default domain name to append to host names that are not fully qualified. So, most set commands are done from the configuration hierarchy. So, if we log in by typing CLI, then configure. Uh, we're in the configuration hierarchy, so if we type set system uh, domain name and then we can give it our domain name, so I'll go for test.com and next we'll configure a DNS server, so to specify DNS servers so that Junos can resolve host names to IP addresses we type set system again, if we type question mark after system you can see all the system services you can uh, uh, you can apply so set system name server and then give it the uh, name server address okay and next we'll do a host name so to set a host name for the appliance which will provide its identification we'll type set system host name and then give it uh, an identif identifiable host name so we'll go for SRX just to keep it simple you can also specify an NTP server so uh, when the device is uh, up and running for uh, periodic time checks and it's good practice to do this as the Junos device can be up and running for a long time and therefore the clock can drift so we type set system NTP server if we go for question mark we can apply name or address here so I've got 10 10 20 20 and I'll just apply the same one or just something something different um, we can also um, if you don't have an NTP server you can do this manually so manually to configure the date and time for the Junos operator system and we do this from the uh, the operation mode so if we log out of a uh, configuration mode we go into operational mode if we do a, a set and a question mark you can see there's very limited set commands in operational mode uh, the one we want is the date command so set date question mark uh, and then from here you can specify a new date and time so you do this by specifying the year followed by the month the day the hour the minute and finally the second so I'll do 2014 the month is 12 the day is 04 and time I'll just give it 12:30 you want a, a dot in here followed by the seconds so just go for 00, zero and that should take it so that that's absolutely fine so let's come back with the uh, the date and uh, finally we can also uh, set the local time zone to match the device's location so the universal coordinated time is the default this allows uh, Junos to present the time in the correct local format so I'm in the UK so I would use the UK time zone, uh, time zone. so I'd type I'd have to do this from configuration as well configuration mode so I'd type set system time zone if I hit question mark you can see uh, a huge list of uh, different time zones in here so if I do control Z uh, control C because I know which one to apply it's the Europe London one um, I can specify Europe London as my time zone hit enter and that's taking it fine so we can also do show system uptime just to confirm that oh, okay you've got to do this from a uh, from the uh, Operation mode, but if I type in run before it, uh, that that would uh, do it from operation mode as well. So um, you can verify the date and time there as well. So the last thing we'll do is the session timeout. So for type set, um, so we'll do a session timeout for the web management interface. So uh, the device is locked out after a period of inactivity. So if we do uh, set uh, system services and we go for web management if we cross that off we can do a question mark just to see what's available to us as well okay web management uh, question mark again 
you can see session in there and question mark again I want the idle timeout option there and then you can give it an idle timeout so we'll go for 30 for 30, 30 for 30 minutes press enter and that's uh, taken that um, so the range is from one minute through 1440 minutes you can set there we can also do this for the CLI as well the CLI console for SSH or Telnet so if we do um, show CLI right you'd have to do this from operational mode so run show CLI and you can see the second one which says uh, CLI idle timeout disabled and if we do run set um, CLI idle timeout and then we can specify a timeout period so let's go for 20 minutes hit enter and do a run show CLI again and now you can see it's been set to 20 minutes uh, that's it from me thanks for watching